biggest challenge in fighting cholera, waterborne diseases, is providing sanitation. Sanitation and safe drinking water. For the developing countries, this is a very serious problem. And understanding the transmission of many infectious diseases through the water route is really critical. I think that is the major hurdle. The best action that we could take, the most effective, to eradicate waterborne disease is to provide safe water treatment. For developed countries, this involves very sophisticated filtration, chlorination, and distribution. But for the developing countries, and for remote areas of those countries, we need to apply appropriate technology. Sometimes this can be simply filtering using a cloth filter or a plastic fine mesh filter that removes particulates and higher organisms that carry the bacteria that cause the disease. So if we can understand that it is necessary to ap apply the appropriate technology to the given region, we could do a great deal to reduce the incidence of waterborne disease. When you have a healthy population not succumbing to a variety of waterborne diseases, everything from parasites, bacteria, viruses, which are debilitating and cause a reduced capacity for work, for daily function. This creates an economic and social disruption and reduction in the capacity of a country. So safe water, safe drinking water, is absolutely critical to economic stability, social stability, and even national security. Through the use of sensors on satellites that circle the globe, we can actually monitor temperature of water bodies. We can monitor the seasonality of, of the plankton that, in many cases, carry the pathogenic bacteria and viruses. So that gives us a tool for predicting when the outbreaks will occur. That allows us then to pinpoint, both in time and space, those treatments that we would apply for guaranteeing safety and public health control of those infectious diseases. I'm deeply honored and most grateful to be the recipient of the Stockholm Water Prize. It validates research that I've done in the area of water safety and health over an entire career. And for that, I thank you.